Today we are going to dive into a new video on controlling an LED connected to ESP32 via an Android app through Firebase Cloud. Let us move to the hardware setup. Here the LED anode is connected with a GPIO 23 pin and the cathode of the LED is connected to the resistance and the resistance is connected to the ground pin of the ESP32 module. I have used 390 ohm resistance to protect the LED from higher amount of current being damaging it. Next we move on to the process of creating Firebase Cloud. So go to Firebase Console, click on Go to Console. Now select on Create a new Firebase project. Enter the project name as LED Control. Now the project is being created. Now the project creation has been completed. Now click on Continue. Now go to Authentication Methods. Click Get Started. Select Anonymous and enable it and click save. Create real time database from here. Click create database. Since we are going to use MIT App Inventor to control our LED, so you should select United States. Then click next. We are going to run this uh, database in a locked mode then click enable now our real time database is being created now go to rules we are going to read as well as write so delete the false and type true similarly for write also type true then select publish the database has been completely created. Need to create the LED tag. So create the LED tag and name it as LED1 for reference and then set the value to be 0 and this value is a integer number. Then click add. The number 0 represent LED is an off state and the number one represent LED is in on state. So if you are going to create, if you are planning to connect more than one LEDs, you can use LED 1, 2 and 3. Now let us move on to the process of creating an Android app which is going to communicate with the Firebase server and it is going to control the LED. For that, create a new project, name it as LED control and click OK. In the screen you can uh, remove the title. I am going to place a label which is used as a title for our app. It's nothing but LED control. I am going to center align. I am going to change the text color to red and then click save. Then I am going to increase the width to fill pattern and then click OK and the font size is 20 and then going to make the font bold. After that I am going to add a small space using the label. So remove the text over here. Then I am going to use a switch to control the LED. So the font size of the switch is also 20 and I am going to fill the width using fill pattern and inside the text for the switch I am going to make it as LED off. In initial stages the LED is in off condition so I am providing it as LED off and if LED off is present then I am going to change the color to be red. So I am changing this text color to blue. Next we need to add the firebase from the experimental layout. You can see the firebase db. 
click on it and drag and drop into it and then click OK. We need uh, the two things. One is the Firebase token. So first delete everything present here. So in case of Firebase URL, you go to our console and copy the URL and paste it over here. Delete the default and paste the real-time database URL copied from the Firebase project. And for the Firebase token, you again go to the Firebase console and select the gear icon and go to project settings. Here you can see our web API key. Copy the web API key and paste it inside the Firebase token. Then delete everything present inside the project bucket. So with this setup, we have completed the user interface screen and the Firebase authentication methods and the real-time database URL is all set. Now we can move to the block section. Inside the block section, we are going to use the switch. So when we are going to turn on the LED, we are going to change the switch position. If you are going to turn off the LED, we are going to change the switch position. So we are selecting when switch one dot changed. Inside this, we need a if condition. In this if condition, we need to check whether the switch is on or off position. To do it, you click the switch and select switch on and if the switch is on we are going to do some set of options and if the switch is not on you are going to do some set of actions so we need if else statement similarly if the switch is on you are going to send that uh, on to the firebase app to do it we need to select firebase db1 dot store value and the tag over here is LED1 and the value to be stored is an integer value so select number and then select change it to 1 similarly for the off condition we are going to duplicate it and we are going to change it to be 0 so 1 is for on and else is for off. So if the switch is on, you are going to send 1 and if the switch is off, you are going to send 0. After that, we are going to update the status of the switch in the designer itself. So to do it, we need to change the text of the switch. So in the text, you need to replicate LED1 on and another one as LED1 off. In the designer you can see we are giving colors based on the condition. Off represents red color and on represents green color. To do it we are going to select the text color from here and from the colors you can select the green color for on and again duplicate it and you can change the text color to be red it is on and here it is off so when i turn on the switch the text will become led1 on and it will become green in color and then the firebase tag led1 will be changed to value 1 similarly for the else condition i am going to make it as led1 off and then it is in red color after that i am going to send the tag to be zero to represent the led has been switched off let us build the app by pressing android app dot apk you can see i am having two options one to download the apk into my laptop and another one option to scan the qr code using android phone i am going to use the second option Open your camera app. Open Google Lens. Now scan the QR code. 
now download it open your file manager and go to downloads install the app click install click more details and select install without scanning now the app is being installed completely now click open now open your real time database you can see the LED is in off condition now try to on your LED from the Android app you can see now the LED status has been changed to on try to off the LED yes now the status is changed to off now let us move to the coding part in the previous video I have explained how to add all the Firebase libraries into the project and how to create the project since I am using ESP32 I am using Wi-Fi.h library if you are using ESP8266 uncomment this line and comment this line so here I am connected the LED to the 32nd pin of the ESP32 this is my Wi-Fi details and this is my Firebase configuration details these uh, details are taken from the Firebase account I am not going to explain here because I have made a previous video how to configure and add everything over here in the setup part is same as before with the only one exception is I am defining the LED pin as the output pin In the loop, I am going to get the string from the tag LED1. Now, I am going to fetch the data which is present in the uh, database object and save it to LED1.state. After that, I am printing that LED1.state using the serial.println function. If LED1 is a string 1, then I am going to turn on the LED to high. If the LED dot state is a 0 string, then I am going to turn off the LED. If the failure has occurred while reading the string data, this else part will print what is the error created during the get part of the firebase and I am going to run this loop again and again for one second interval so that if I turn on or turn off the LED from the MIT app inventor immediately the data will be updated into this field and the LED will be changed high or low using this if condition now let us Compile and upload the code directly into our ESP32. Now it started to get upload into the ESP32. Upload is completed with the success message. Open our Android app. At the same time, open the serial monitor. You can see the LED status is uh, now 0. Now I am going to turn on the LED from the app. You can see the LED has been turned on. Similarly, I am going to turn off the LED from the Android app. So at the time, the status has been updated in the Firebase as well as the hardware has also take effect. Thank you for watching the video.